Hey guys, so I'm really excited to uh, show you here uh, a recent fishing uh, trip that I made to the Cape Cod Canal where I caught the largest striped bass that I've ever caught. Largest fish, in fact, but uh, for sure the largest striped bass. Um, so this is an incredible day and I really want to uh, enjoy the experience with you, but I also want to make this educational. And there are some things that I think I did that enabled me to uh, hook into and land a fish of this size. So I'm going to narrate over certain parts of it and point out uh, those things. I'm also going to reflect on things that I might have done differently and things that I'll do in the future to, to increase the chances of catching a uh, fish like this again. Uh, so enjoy and uh, leave any feedback and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Okay, first let's uh, set the context. Uh, this is the new moon in August and for several days uh, the fishing had been on fire. Uh, the day before, I had got 25 fish in the, you know, 15 to 30 pound range, and up up to up to that day, that was probably the best day of fishing I had had. Um, this is the so-called breaking tides uh, period that everyone looked forward to. Uh, so this morning, I think it's about 6:15, 6:30, and uh, before this, uh, the guy on the shore there, whom I was fishing with, he's a buddy, he'd got a 44 pound bass. And I knew there were multiple 40 and 50 pound bass caught throughout the canal. So today I was, I was there for size, not numbers. Uh, and that affected the way that I fished. So specifically, because I was after big fish, I wanted to make sure that my hardware was adequate to handle big fish. So the lure that I'm using here is the Sabeel Magic Swimmer 9 inch white uh, slow sinking lure, uh, which is an incredible lure and is very popular around the canal and imitates very well the mackerel and poggies uh, that were being attacked by the bass these days. However, the, this lure, despite how good it is, comes with hardware that is inadequate for large fish. So what I've done here is taken the hooks off and added just a single 5 odd VMC 4X hook to the front hook hanger and instead of connecting it directly to the hanger I've got a 330 pound Spro swivel connected by two strong uh, split rings. I don't remember the exact strength but they're, they're definitely bigger than what came on the lure. And uh, this adds a little bit of length but what this uh, enables uh, one to do is have the confidence that if a big fish hits uh, you're going to have a hook that is adequate that's not going to split or uh, be pulled open. And also that if the fish puts pressure on the lure by twisting and turning, the swivel will give some range of movement uh, that uh, will allow for that force to be kind of dissipated. Whereas uh, in other cases, you would put a lot of force on that hook hanger and potentially rip it out. Other things that I'm doing here, I'm tying direct to the lure. Typically, in the past, I had used a uh, lure clip, like a tactical angler's clip, and this has been very good. It enables me to change the lure up very quickly, but in the past few days, I had uh, lost a couple fish, either due to opening of the split ring or the, the knot kind of slipping off. And I'm sure there's a solution for this, but I just didn't even want to have that thought in my mind. So I'm tying direct here to the uh, split ring on the nose of the, the swimmer. So I'm using 50 pound fluorocarbon uh, leader and tying direct with a basic uh, clinch knot. He wants it. He wants it. So some other things. Uh, my, my setup, I have a 10.6 Temple Fork Outfitter surf rod uh, rated 2 to 6 ounces. And uh, this is a pretty beefy rod that I use to catch a lot of fish in the canal. And it definitely has the backbone uh, to pull a big fish in that current. Uh, similarly, I matched it with a reel that it can do the same. Uh, this is the Daiwa BG Saltwater 8000. This is the predecessor to the classic Daiwa Black and Gold. It's an incredible reel. I've talked about it in other videos. Uh, for the price, I, I think there's nothing better. The value is tremendous. Uh, very strong, very smooth, silky smooth drag, huge line capacity, power handle. I mean, there's just so many good things to say and an incredible price. I think it's... 129 uh, retail, and you could probably find it cheaper online. So this setup is adequate to turn a big fish if you hook into one. And that's really important at the canal because, you know, you could probably hook a fish with a snoopy rod, but it won't be able to really 
uh, fight that fish and turn that fish. And when you see what happens later on in this video, you'll see why it's so important to have uh, a setup that can fight the fish properly. Otherwise, you risk uh, losing a quality fish. Other strategic things, you'll see where I'm fishing, or at least where I am. Um, this could be any spot along the canal, but um, here there's a little kind of outcropping, a little peninsula that juts out into the water, and I'm wearing waders, and that's uh, very intentional. I want to be out in the water further than the shoreline to my right, because that gives me the freedom to fight the fish uh, a little bit more, and mostly when a big fish hits and it starts running down current, it many fish will run right along the rocks of the shoreline and that's where you risk losing them. So I wanted to be out in the water and to give myself the room to fight this fish in the water beyond the other casters, beyond the other lines, and you'll see later on how important uh, that was. It would have been much harder fighting it from the shoreline if the fish had run along uh, the rocks. I also like wearing waders because being in the water enables me to keep the fish in the water and do a quick release um, without uh, having to re remove a fish and put it on the rocks. That's not always the case, but I have that uh, ability and uh, I definitely take advantage of it uh, this day uh, with other fish. So uh, lastly, I want to talk about kind of strategy. There were so many fish. I had caught a lot before uh, this one and everybody else was hooking up. And on a typical day, I'd play these fish and enjoy the fight. You know, uh, 20, 30 pound bass, I want to enjoy that. But I knew that there were very large fish around, and my goal today was for a large fish. And I saw, um, you know, other people catching 40 pound class fish. And so I was pretty intentional about horsing in the other fish that I was catching this day because I wanted to get back in the water as soon as possible. Uh, I didn't play it, but I just like cranked as hard as I could. And, you know, it's pretty tough actually with like 20 pound class fish in this current, but I did it and it was probably better for the fish anyway. Uh, they uh, swam away much better than if I had uh, tired them out. And so I think that contributed to my being able to have more shots on goal for the large fish. You know, I want to not overemphasize my contribution here. I think I did some things that are important for landing this fish, but ultimately we're all casting similar lures and presenting them in the same way. And so connecting with a large fish is probably more luck than skill, but then landing it is about the strategic choices one makes, which is why I'm kind of going over those here. Um, but in this case, being in the water when the fish are there as much as I possibly can uh, was, was important for having the opportunity to connect with this fish. And so just that's something to think about. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stop talking for now and just let this play out. Um, enjoy, enjoy this. Uh, take note of just how this fish fought and, uh, and just how much, I, how much fun I was having. I hope all of you get to hook into a fish like this at some point too. I'll have a few more words to say at the end during uh, the release, but uh, enjoy. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. They're still out there. This is what happened yesterday. It started out here and then they moved down a little bit since that rip. Yep. Oh, I gotta follow, gotta follow. He wants it. It's a, yeah. All right. It's okay. Might throw on a something different soon. Swimmer is very effective, but it doesn't ride well in tough current. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. I think 
climb into a good one. Yep, this is my best one of the day, for sure. Hopefully it doesn't come off. Oh boy. All right. You wanna to move to my left arm? No, just get get in get in the water, man. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. <laughs> this is a big fish. Oh. Lose him? Nope. I'm just over. Hey guys, big fish coming down. Big fish coming down. I can't even turn it. Watch out, guys. Holy crap. Big, just. What? That's a very large fish. What? Is that like a tuna? <laughs> Holy crap. My god. Oh my god. Thank you. Nice, Tom. This is a big fish. Don't. Oh. Oh crap. Oh crap. All right, wait. Tom, I'm I'm, I'm over you. I'm over you. Yep. What? What? I think I broke 40. What? Oh. All right. This is a cow. I might ask for a pick on this one, Tom. And then I want to get back in the water ASAP. Forty-five point eight nine. Forty-six pounds. Nice. You have a scale? I mean, not a scale. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I keep 
in my bag. I'm gonna get him back in the water real quick. Wow, 46. Thank you for choreographing. I really want to make sure this is okay. Feels good. Feels like it's gonna go. Wow. I have a tape measure in my bag. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Yo, we both got 40s today though, so I don't feel that bad. <laughs> pocket Le like left or right left or right side it's like a blue thing there you go thank you good it's, it's gonna go thanks Tom you're the man do I do the honors oh watch 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 all right there's his lip 50, 50 inches. Woo. Oh, right. Holy crap. All right. And I want to see a nice release. What? Oh, this is going to be good. She wants to go. This cow wants to go. There we go. Ah, very nice. And she's off. <gasps> So there you have it. That was a fish of a lifetime that I'm just so grateful uh, to have had that opportunity and to have landed it and to have had a good friend nearby to help me with it. And importantly, a healthy release. Uh, that felt as good as catching. Um, I think I did a lot of things right, but I'll acknowledge that being in the right place at the right time was uh, just as important as having the right gear or having the right strategy. And uh, if I were to do anything different at all, it would probably have been to been uh, a little more ready with uh, the camera and the and the measurement and the scale and all that. But you know what? Lesson learned for the next time, and it'll probably be a very long time before I catch a fish like that again. Um, you know, the pictures I have here are what I got. The rest of them were kind of blurry, but I don't even care. You don't. You know, who wants to see my face anyway? Much more important is that the fish was uh, released to fight another day. So thanks again. Uh, please leave your feedback and comments and subscribe to my channel. Um, there's a lot more footage from the canal from my summer, and uh, that's also fun too and want to share. All right, thanks a lot.